Hey, what's going on? Matthew Taman here with another Joomla review and demo video. Today, we're going to take a look at a key part of every website, and that is having a sitemap. And more specifically, we want to take a look at the J Sitemap Professional. So I need you to go over to uh, extorextensions.org and you want to go to the J Sitemap, and it's very affordable about 40 euros or so which is a little like 54 55 dollars not that expensive uh the professional version gives you a lot more uh than what the free version does now why is a sitemap important i'm not going to go over all the details of why you need to have a sitemap but sitemaps are vital because it helps increase your visibility with search engines now i want to say this having a sitemap alone would not increase your traffic your visibility it wouldn't do anything if your site is not optimized I always see people think, oh, I'll put a sitemap and boom, that's it. That's all I need to do. No, 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 no. There's several things that you have to do, but a sitemap helps uh, with the structure. So we're going to take a look at how that looks in the back end. So first, let's take a look here at uh, the J Sitemap Pro and just see what type of uh, features that this thing has to offer. So it lets you control your SEO part. This is the... Uh, uh, the robot.txt again i'm not going to go into a lot with the seo i have another training that i do this is to give you an idea to see how valuable something like this is for your site you have the rss feed you have one click wizard that kind of help you get everything set up and you have the seo spider which, which helps you to identify any issues duplicates and that's another thing too was i've seen so many people that reach out to me to do seo on their website and they have a ton of duplicate content that is not going to help you in terms of the robots that is not going to help you in terms of your ranking that is just not going to help you at all and this is an ajax allows you to cover all possible uh, cases for your giant sitemap so an ajax pretty much gives you flexibility as you're going to see in a moment for how things show up right so they're going to show up on the same page instead of multiple pages you have to search engine, engine meta info you have the image sitemap, which you can utilize that as well. You have the video sitemap. If you have a video website, you can do that. You can embed, you know, YouTube, Vimeo, and other codes in there. Uh, the link analyzer to, to analyze your link, any broken links, any problem with the links, you can analyze. You have the Google indexing tester. So we're going to take a look uh, at the Google back end so you can see where to submit your sitemap. So once you install this, you can't just install it and just leave it at that. I will show you where on Google how to uh, install it and how to let Google know that you have a new sitemap. You have a custom 404 pages, which you need. I've been to so many websites where they don't have a 404 page set up properly. You can actually utilize a 404 page to actually boost your traffic. There's a method that you can use for that and it, it works. And you have multiple sitemaps, so you can have as many sitemaps as you need to. You have the HT Access Editor, and of course you have the robot.txt, and then you have the sitemap module here. So now let's take a look at the demo for it. So this is what, uh, matter of fact, let's go right here. That's not it. Let's go this one. So this is the different types. So you have to sitemap the HTML. This is how it looks, just a, like a category tree format. You know, it breaks it down. You can see all the different items that are part of it. And then you have to sitemap the navigation tree. So if you click on each one, it's going to take you to different parts uh, of the site. You have the main menu, and then you have all this that are connected to it. Now, you don't need one that is this long. You don't need one that's certainly like, you know, have all this stuff in there. This is just to show you that each menu item can have its own sitemap tree, and you can make sure that's optimized. Again, make sure that your website is optimized. Putting a sitemap on your site will not get you traffic okay i said you can't just put it on there so okay well i got a sitemap come on on traffic doesn't work that way and then you have an xml sitemap uh this is what we're going to get to google to let them know uh, let's go back here you have a mobile sitemap and then you have an image sitemap so this are the images for it and you have uh the video sitemap and this is how the video sitemap looks. This really works uh, in terms of Joomla. I mean, in terms of YouTube and Vimeo. This is another great option here. And then, you, of course, you have the K2, uh, the Geo sitemap, the HRF Lang sitemap, the RSS feeds. So I want to download. So I want to click that to say no. We're not don't need to download that yet. But this is how the sitemap looks, and this is how it works. So if you have a website, it's going to generate it for you once you get it installed on the back end. 
So now let's go over and take a look at, you know, just some of the different things uh, that it has to offer. So this is the dashboard. When you install this, it's going to let you know what your Alexa site rank is. Now, Alexa is a website that just ranks website from, you know, from one to a hundred based on the popularity, domain age and different factors. Uh, this actual Alexa was actually out before the Alexa that we know of uh, from Amazon. Uh, so back then they used to let you rank your website. So let's even take a look at it now just so you can see Let's search Alexa. So when you go to Alexa, usually they've made so many changes to it, but you put in your site here. So I'm just going to use Google. For example, you run analysis and then it gives you some type of a, a metric. So you see how things are. It gives you an idea you know and it gives you and this shows you what the Alexa rank you this is your rank so if you go on here you can put in your site and it's going to tell you where your rank is and the daily time spent on the site this is a great tool that lets you see how things are now they have extra package where you can be able to pay more um, for you to get you know a little more extra with it so that is what the Alexa uh, rank is and then you have your bounce rate so typically the lower your bounce rate the better so if you have a bounce rate that is like at 80 to 90 percent then you have a lot of work to do what that means is that the bounce rate is how often people leave your website when they just click on it do they stay you know so they come in and they bounce you know they bounce out and then you have the google index links here it shows you you have your site backlinks how many sites are backlinking to your average visit time how long does each person stay when they come in your website and you have a daily uh, page views and your global rank so this shows you all that stuff right here in a snapshot you can check out your status your published content and you can these are the different types of sitemaps that you can be able to you know you can use so we're going to use it for example if you want to submit something to uh, let's say Google use the XML sitemap here so this is where you can be able to copy and you're going to put back there but let's go over quickly here. You have the wizard data source. Again, I'm not going to go through all the different features where this has to offer what you can do with it. Uh, but just to give an overview, I have an uh, uh, you know, advanced SEO course that I go through a little bit more of this stuff there. Uh, Google page speed. It shows you the score for it. You want to see how your site ranks in terms of the page speed. These are all things that you need to be checking, by the way. So when you have a website that is not doing well, or even if your site is doing well, you still want to check out the page speed. You want to check out the responsiveness of it and a few other things that you want to make sure that you stand on top of. Uh, you have a ping o -matic to ping for new content. You have XLR, um, XML RSS feed. You have a Google Search Console. And it shows you the site map that's been submitted there. This has been indexed. And we're going to take a look at Google in a second. It's showing how many links have been submitted and how many links have been indexed. Whatever number of links you submit need to be the one that's been indexed, unless there's some type of a you know, robot uh, settings you put there not to crawl it or not to search it. Uh, and then you have the SEO spider. And then it's showing you, give you some feedback on what you need to do for each one. Again, this is a valuable thing that in order for your site to get the ranking and the visibility that you need all these are things that you need to check and most of the times most people don't spend that much time with the SEO because they don't know exactly what to do and you can analyze the site map and once you analyze it shows you that the change of frequency on there daily you know priority assigned 50 percent it shows you what's been indexed and it shows you the type of status code if there's any issues or anything is going to show you there and then let's see you have to Google index tester you can test it out and Google see if it's been indexed properly so this one here index and it shows you shows the results page on and all of the different things here so let's go back so once you've installed this and you've generated a sitemap let's go to show HTML sitemap so these are the different sitemaps that you can be able to see you know right over here once you've generated your sitemap and you want to submit it to, let's say, Google, we're going to submit this X, um, XML map. So you go here. After this, this is where the, the URL you submit. You don't you don't copy. Let me go, you don't copy this whole thing to get it submitted. OK, so you don't copy the entire thing here to get it submitted. You usually just copy if it's in the subfolder, you copy from the end of your domain to that. But usually you copy something like this, right? So this is what you just need to copy 
and you need to put in into Google right here and they're going to do that for you. So that's pretty simple. And when you do that, then Google is going to make sure um, all that stuff, it's it's showing up on their end. It can show you like how many pages have been indexed and the success rate for it. So let's get out of this. And, and I think that pretty much covers everything here. Again, I just wanted to give you an idea of why you need this and how to show you how this works. So if you have a website, SEO is a very vital part of it. If you need to learn how to build professional websites with Joomla, just head over to matthewtainment.com and you click on training and then you can book a session here. I'm going to go through a one on one live training with you to answer your questions and get you up to speed with what you need to learn about using Joomla. Uh, maybe you want to build a professional site, a landing page, an e-commerce page, and you need that extra, you know, help to make sure you're doing things the right way. Head over there right now, book a session. This can be for individual, for small teams, or for corporate teams. So go there right now. I look forward to working with you.